Um, Coach, who's the best player you've ever seen play football? Man, that's a great, that is a great question. You know, I think um, Derrick Henry was one of the best competitors mm. I've ever been around. You know, Derrick was um, one of the hardest working guys, a great practice player, relentless in the offseason program, uh, relentless in the weight room. Certainly that's translated well to the NFL. Just a very unique player for his size to be running the ball. What he did in the second half of the season that year, he won the Heisman Trophy. I thought he was a pretty special player. He, yeah. It you see his run on Sunday? It doesn't look right. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't look like it, it makes sense because he's bigger than everybody chasing him. He looks like Terminator. Um, <laughs> he, he's got to be one of the, 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 the freakiest athletes out there. Yeah, you know, I, I still remember Derek. Uh, got, he arrived early. He enrolled early at Alabama. Um, you know, he's still a little bit up in the air whether the guy was a running back. And first couple scrimmages in that spring practice, it became very obvious when the guy got the ball in his hand, he was pretty effective. Yeah. So, uh, pretty special cat there. You guys are 9-2 and two right now, first in the Sun Belt in the, uh, in the Western Division side. You got a rivalry week uh, here in college football. You guys are closing out against Louisiana Monroe on, uh, on Saturday down at Cajun Field. Um, the, the last part of the season, you guys have been as hot as any team in the country, Coach. What, what do you make of your team coming down the stretch here? Well, we've had a lot to play for. You know, I certainly last week had an opportunity to clinch the West and secure a position in the conference championship game, which was a big deal for our team. We worked really hard the entire year to get in position to do that. You know, we won several in a row here down down the stretch in November. Um, and certainly pleased with the way we executed. Played really hard in the game Saturday. I thought we were uh, played with toughness. Uh, certainly played with really good fundamentals. We had we played good situational football, um, and that was a you know it was a really complete game. I thought our staff did a terrific job. We had the players ready to play, and we also had a good plan for them. Coach, uh, both UL right now and LSU in kind of similar boats in that you you have your side of the conference, your your ticket to the conference championship wrapped up, but you're closing with a pretty good conference battle. How do you avoid looking forward to the impending App State matchup? Well, we've got lots to play for here. You know, in particular, I think it's important to the people in our building to send these seniors out the right way. Uh, this has been a very special group, certainly some talented guys, but really some, a lot of great people uh, that have been at the core of what we've been able to do here, turning this thing around. Um, even last year, second half of the season, a lot of these individual players were the ones that would give the best feedback uh, that really had leadership ability and could affect the other players. So I think it's important for me uh, and our staff that we send these guys the out, out the right way. And certainly – I've got an opportunity to make history with the tenth win, um, which would be a special thing for the university and certainly certainly for this group of players uh, to have been a part of a team that made history. Coach, this is your second season in Lafayette. You're you're nine and two and have the Cajuns right now in the discussion as the top team in the Sun Belt. Are are you ahead of schedule or is this how you kind of envision rebuilding this culture? Well, I don't I don't know if you ever look at it quite quite that way. You know, I think we, um, we're we always evaluating where we're at. You know, I think you kind of work um, a couple months at a time, and then once you get to the season, it's kind of a, a week at a time. You know, you're always looking at uh, ways to improve your roster, uh, always looking at ways to make your year-round plan for development better, you know, how to improve our off-season program, um, how to improve how we practice. Um, and, you know, each individual player – um, making progress. Each individual person in the organization improving at their role. And that, you know, that's what we've got consumed with those things. Uh, and I think that's what led to maybe a result that you guys get the chance to see when we play on the weekends in the fall. But, you know, there's been lots of work done around here just to get a little better, you know. Uh, and certainly it's all adding up. And uh, we're playing really good football right now. Yeah, talking to UL Rage Cajun head coach Billy Napier, two seasons in a UL, two Sun Belt West championships, looking for uh, now looking to get 10 wins in the regular season. Um, coach, you, you, you've been in a few other places in your career as well. Uh, one of them, Alabama, big game for the tie this weekend, the Iron Bowl. 
Uh, do you have any Iron Bowl memories that jump out in your mind? Well, I mean, there's no question that we had some great ones. Um, you know, I think it goes back to the one that we mentioned earlier, you know, the 2015 national championship team, we had to go play there, um, made some critical plays in that game. Jacob Coker, uh, there were some terrific plays in that game. Certainly Derek Henry was outstanding that night. We needed that game to get in. Um, you know, terrific performance, all-around team win. Um, and certainly the, the ones you want to forget, you know, the kick six game I was actually a part of that game. Ugh. Um, you know, you try to forget that one, but Oof. certainly a lot of good and a lot of bad in that game. You know, the one that we lost was the kick six one. Fortunate enough to win the rest of them. How? What was the uh, like? What was your it, point of view of it? Were yeah, you in the press box. Say, can, can you give us like it, it, like the headspace? Like just if, what did that feel like watching that go down? <laughs> um, you know, it, it's uh, you know, it's one of the more terrible feelings I've had, I would say that. You know, we had, you know, that play in particular, but I can tell you the other 10 or 12 plays in the game where if we do what we're supposed to do, if we execute better, uh, if we uh, play with better fundamentals, if, you know, if we do what we're supposed to do, we don't have to deal with that scenario. So, um, you know, I think anytime those are the ones that you remember really detailed specific plays where maybe a, a guy at your position or a guy on your side of the ball could have done something better to help win. So, you know, every game is that way at that place, you know. Uh, and certainly LSU's kind of going through that right now. You know, the, the more you are relevant in the national picture, the more significant each game is every week. Uh, and the more those plays get magnified, you know, and certainly when the national spotlight is on you, um, you oftentimes get um, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and certainly that was very ugly. Coach Billy Napier here every Tuesday with us on Off the Bench, ESPN Baton Rouge, New Orleans, Alexandria. As football coaches, you guys are obsessed with consistency, no distractions. How do you handle this week with Thanksgiving on Thursday? Well, we, we'll do um, our typical plan. You know, we, we I think what's important is at the beginning of the week, you kind of map out the week for the staff and the players. So everybody knows what to expect. Nobody's caught off guard. You know, we're going to work on Wednesday night as a staff, you know, watch the practice film, which we typically don't do. We go home. Uh, and then we'll move everything up three hours with the players on, on Thursday. So instead of starting meetings at 2.15, we'll start at 11.15, give the guys, all the guys that are within, within a couple hours can go home if they if they like to. Uh, and if not, you know, find a teammate or a coach. Uh, I know the quarterbacks are coming over to my house uh, Thursday. Uh, so, you know, we'll, we'll make room for a couple hours in the evening, early evening that day on Thursday. And then we feed the travel roster again Friday when we come back. You know, we'll have a, a quick uh, what we call one real meeting on Friday, and then we'll go to the baseball stadium and have a great meal for the guys. We I think it's important that you – um, it's an opportunity to really have some perspective um, and and have a moment to really be grateful for the things that we do have. So often we get caught up in what we don't have. And I think Thanksgiving and this time of the year is a great opportunity uh, to create some positive thoughts for the players and, and everyone else. Cajun fans better be grateful for this guy, Billy Napier. As he's got the Cajuns right now 9-2, and two, first in the Sun Belt with a game against UL Monroe on the horizon this Saturday as it'll be senior day as they close it out at home. Thank you, Coach, as always. Good luck this weekend. All right, guys. Thank you all. Have a great day. Yes, sir, and happy Thanksgiving. There he is, Coach uh, Billy Napier, checking in from Lafayette. We'll close that hour one next.